And also when I read that everything's every single I feel bad for like super video game fans who just can't get a movie that sticks to the game's storyline. Why do they make the movies that stray away from the existing storyline and alienate the main fan base of the film it's directed towards? Why are they doing that? everybody welcome back Justin here as always I appreciate you clicking on this video you can support this video you can support this channel by liking and commenting and dropping your thoughts down in the comment section below let me know what you think of today's story I hope everybody's having a fantastic day but let's get right into it we're gonna be talking about the new Borderlands movie directed by Eli Roth now to be honest with you guys this movie is more on my radar from a director perspective I've never played the games admittedly but I've been a huge fan of Eli Roth especially in his earlier days I have I haven't followed his filmography so much in the last few years. In fact, I didn't even know he was directing this movie, which kind of bums me out in a way. Eli Roth was doing such amazing things in the horror space in the early 2000s. Cabin Fever, Hostel, Hostel 2, Aftershock. I really liked Knock Knock. And I know a lot of people don't like Eli Roth for whatever reason, but I do encourage you if you have Shudder to check out the uh, History of Horror series on Shudder. It's awesome. Um, like I said, I didn't even know this movie was being shot. I actually heard about it on a podcast with Bobby Lee. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tiger Belly or Bad Friends, two of my favorite podcasts. He's been in Hungary shooting. He's been in Hungary shooting a movie for a while, and we just found out today when he dropped his podcast uh, that he's been filming with Eli Roth. Best. So it's got, like, all these big stars in it, like Kate Blanchett, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, <laughs> all these fucking people, Yeesh. right? Um, Edgar Ramirez. It's just the Filming this Borderlands movie. I guess he has a bit part. He's not mentioned in the cast here. One thing I will say before I get into all this is I really want to know what the diehard Borderlands fans are saying about this movie because whenever I cover these video game movies, I'm usually covering them from a director or a horror standpoint. So I always like to get uh, different people's opinions about that. I know people have been just shredding both Resident Evil movies as of late in the comments. Those comments are just brutal. Coming from the Borderlands, Twitter, and Eli Roth's Instagram, first images of Claptrap. Really wanted to let you know he made it downstairs safely. That and the production of Borderlands movie has officially wrapped. See it with the theaters in 20, I'm assuming that's 2022. The film is directed by Eli Roth from a screenplay written by Craig Mazin. It also stars Haley Bennett, Janina Gavankar, Gina Gershon, Cheyenne Jackson, Charles Bubbleboa, Benjamin Byron Davis, Stephen Boyer, Ryan Redman, and Bobby Lee. Oh, they did give my boy Bobby Lee a mention. Good for you, Bobby. Um, <laughs> Lionsgate has announced the production on Eli Roth's live-action film adaptation of Gearbox Software's popular video game series Borderland has officially been completed after more than three months of filming in Hungary. In celebration of the filming wrap, the studio has also released a new behind-the-scenes photo, which you can check out below, offering us our first our first full look at Claptrap, who is set to be voiced by Jack Black. The Borderlands movie is expected to exist in a different universe than the game. Oh, that's great. That's going to piss everybody off, which will allow the project to stray away from the first game in the franchise. The star-studded film will be led by Kate Blanchett, Kevin Hart, Jamie Lee Curtis, Jack Black, Ariana Greenblatt, Florian Manitou, Oliver Richters, and Edgar Ramirez. I don't know if I got any other Tiger Belly or uh, Bad Friends, uh, podcast fans out there, shout out to Bobby Lee. Um, he gave a couple insights of being on set, a couple funny little anecdotes of uh, broing down with Jamie Lee Curtis and hanging out with some of the cast. I do like Gina Gershon, Jamie Lee Curtis. The cast is awesome. Like I said, I'm just kind of bummed that Eli Roth has gone this super Hollywood stratosphere. Uh, it just kind of bums me out being such a massive fan of Eli Roth and his early horror work to see him just go full Hollywood. And also when I read that everything I feel bad for like super video game fans who just can't get a movie that sticks to the game's storyline. Why do they make the movies that stray away from the existing storyline and alienate the main fan base of the film it's directed towards? Why are they doing that? They exist in a different universe to stray away from the game. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't hit me to heart because I never played the game, but if I did, I'd probably be pissed off. You know, kind of like when they remade Cabin Fever with the exact same script, but just took all the soul out of it and put a bunch of pretty actors in it. 
I don't know. <laughs> I'll keep you updated on this. I, I was thirsty for something from Eli Roth to cover. So if this is all I got, if all I have is a video game adaptation with Jack Black and Kate Blanchett so I can talk about Eli Roth, I, I'll do that. I'll put some positive energy out to the world towards Eli Roth and maybe he'll go back and redo Hostel 3 or something because Hostel 3 fucking sucked donkey dick bags. Fuck Hostel 3. But anyway, that was an overreaction. Um, anyway, uh, I think we're done here, guys. I'm going crazy. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I think we're done here, guys. Stay weird. Always be yourself. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them. And I love making them.